So even though we have 10 million of these uh, chocolate chip muffins for my daughter's breakfast this, this week, um, I have now made some apple uh, muffins here as well. Um, so this is before they've gone into the oven, um, but basically for me to have some breakfast this week and also going to take some over to my boyfriend's today as well because I actually feel well enough post-surgery now to start baking again, which feels fantastic. Hi guys, so I was just about to change kind of into my comfy clothes for the day, um, but I just got back from the movies actually. We went um, to see, what's it called, Independence Day Resurgence, I think it is. And I was so excited to see this movie. I will not give you any plot details. Um, not a bad movie, preferred the first one. I think that's just all that I'll say. But what was really cool is, I don't get to go to the movies very often, um, but there's this one theater in town where they've just done a whole bunch of renovations and we went there. And these renovations I had heard had actually, oh, there's MJ. Say hi, MJ. <laughs> um, so the renovations had like decreased the amount of ticket or seats in each theater by like a third. So all that I've been kind of seeing on Facebook is how um, she's headbutting me now <laughs> is how much more leg space there was. And being a tall girl, this kind of made me excited. Um, so my boyfriend and his son have gone, um, to this theater and they've actually taken my daughter a couple, uh, at least once, I'm not sure if twice, maybe since the renovations have finished, but it was my first time going and oh my God. So these are like big plush leather seats now. Um, and my boyfriend actually took a picture of me with the two kids cause it was my daughter and his son. Um, cause my son was actually at his dad's for this weekend. And, um, so he took a picture of the three of us and it was so nice cause these were like big reclining leather seats and you actually got to like bring the legs up too. So it just felt like you were sitting at home. It was awesome. And in between like each set of two seats, you could actually put the armrest up as well. So it was nice to kind of cuddle up with him. Um, to be able to watch the movie. So we got back just in time as, um, she's being so, so like cuddly. Yes, I've been gone for a couple hours. I'm so sorry. Uh, so we pulled up like 10 seconds after my ex dropped my son off and it's literally like the first time maybe the second that he's actually been early at dropping my son off. Cause I was like, Oh, it's a two hour movie. No big deal. We get out. That gives me a half hour to get home. And we got home like 20 minutes after the end of the movie and he had just pulled in. So anyway, no big deal. He had to wait like a minute, no big deal. But then uh, my son came in and basically has raided my kitchen. <laughs> So, um, I just poured another bit of food for him and I'm going to go downstairs and actually watch a little bit of YouTube while I wait for my daughter to come back because she chose to go to my boyfriend's house to play Minecraft with his son for a little bit, apparently spending the entire day there and with them for some reason wasn't enough. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, so it was kind of exciting though. I was probably way more excited by the seats than anything else. It was very strange. Yeah, what would you like, young lady? Hey, you're being very, very cuddly and very insistent since I got home. Did you miss me? Did you miss me, little MJ? Hey. Oh, I know, sweetie. It's rough when mom leaves the house for a couple hours, isn't it? I know. I know. Oh my goodness. Look what my boyfriend brought over. All of this lettuce, 
some kale and all this basil oh my goodness from his garden that's kind of become like both of our gardens because we bought everything just before I went into the hospital so I didn't get all of my stuff planted but he did so and thankfully his is like overflowing right now so look at all this wonderful wonderful freshly p picked um, basil and kale and lettuce and here are my muffins from earlier today as well I just have to put them away but um, I did just kind of a cute little kind of floral type of cupcake holder on them so oh, I gotta wash these now and uh, put them in the fridge oh my god guys allergies have hit I don't know if you can see my eye is all red now this sucks why is it that it usually takes a few times for me to be able to realize that oh yeah when my eye starts itching I need to take the anti anti uh, histamine sorry it's bugging me so much um, I have to take the antihistamines right away before it actually like gets stuck in an eye and now it's like watering and gross so this is how I'm gonna you know end Sunday fantastic way to do it waiting for meds to kick in <sighs> FYI if you have high blood pressure like I do and, and are on meds for that then um, you can only take Arius apparently Claritin and Reactin is actually bad so hairs up so it's out of my face so I don't have to deal with that as well as the itchy eye it's almost bedtime I just gave my son five minute warning and then it's bedtime bye guys What you doing? Getting ready to go to the soupy for the first time in the summer. Can you explain to people what the soupy is? Oh, you're <laughs> filming this, aren't you? You're filming this for you two. Yes, I am. Hi guys, so it's Tuesday morning. I'm just waiting for my tea to steep. Um, and I have a confession. <laughs> I haven't been sleeping very well. For a couple weeks now actually um, the alarm in our house the house alarm for some reason a couple weeks ago started having like I don't even know how to explain it but like you know how you set your phone with the with alarms to wake up in the morning so for some reason the alarm in the house had those alarms on them which is weird and it would go off at one five and nine I think it's three times however the problem is is that those alarms go off a.m. or p.m. so I've been getting up at one o'clock in the morning to basically hit off for it and then again at five o'clock in the morning basically to hit off um, oh yeah this started after my surgery um, cannot figure out how to um, stop this from happening how to deprogram it um, so honestly, I needed a good night's sleep last night. I unplugged the whole thing. I'm hoping that resets it, I don't know. But I actually had a full night's sleep last night, not having to get up and hit that alarm twice in one night. So I actually feel quite rested this morning, which is great, which is probably why I'm like dressed and everything um, before my even my first cup of tea. So. Today is officially our first day of summer vacation and it is already quite warm out. I think I'm gonna have to put the uh, window air conditioners on. And um, basically my daughter's all excited to go to the local park today for the first day of Soupy. Um, and Soupy is actually, they have like teenagers or early 20s kind of thing, um, like rec recreational people go to, they, they're at certain, oh, I'm already sweaty, um, go to certain parks in town. Um, and basically they like run programs throughout the day um, from 10 till five, but they take an hour lunch as well. So we're lucky that we, the park right around the corner from us, actually has that so today is her first day for that so she's looking forward to it um, I still need to get a few things done in the house here to kind of really prep for summer um, so that's what my son and I are going to do but first tea we've had our first little injury from the summer just a tiny little boo-boo on my son's foot nothing major 
but I thought this was a pretty cool band-aid so I figured I'd show it off but just tiny it'll be all good so my son loves pumpkin loaf well actually all of us do so I've started with putting the the wet ingredients into my KitchenAid here and I just wanted to show you guys what real farm fresh eggs look like. They're all different sizes, different shades of colors and all this kind of stuff. These are eggs from my parents farm. Um, so let me just crack one and you can see the difference between farm fresh and store bought because I had to cheat on my parents and buy more store bought um, eggs. So hold on a second. Okay, this is too bad actually because usually there's a much bigger color difference between the two. So this one and this one are from my parents' farm. Let me see if they'll focus. Um, but you can see the color difference. Usually it's a much bigger difference between the two. Um, these two are the, um, the store-bought ones. So I'm trying to not get the glare. Usually there's a much bigger difference um, than this time. But oh well, I figured I'd try. But you know, this is how eggs really are when, you know, there's free range chickens. There's all different sizes um, and shades of color and all this kind of stuff. So we are very, very fortunate to actually be able to get really lovely tasting eggs because of my parents. Here is some of the wonderful pumpkin loaf. It's um, all cooled off now and ready for us to have some pieces. They're so delicious. Oh my goodness. I wish there was smell-o-vision for you guys for this. Hey, sweetheart. Apparently it's lean against mummy and I have cuddles time now. <laughs> no tickles! No tickles for me! Tickles for you, though! Is there a belly button there? Is there a belly button there? Oh, I can't no. get it. I can't get it. He's no. holding my hand too much. No. And look, there's Elmo. Where'd you go? Are you hiding? Are you hiding, sweetheart? <gasps> Peekaboo, I see you. Ah! Tickle, 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 tickle. What would you like? More hiding? I'm More hiding? Where'd you go? Um, tickle. Tickle? You want more tickles? Tickles. <laughs> tickle monster! Tickle, 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 Here we are at the park. We're just waiting <laughs> for some other families with kids with autism to join us here. Are you making funny faces? Yes. yes. It's so warm out. Oh, there's a little bit of a breeze that's happening now. But just even walking the few blocks over here, it's kind of hot and sweaty. Are you going to say something? Can you say hi, everybody? Say hi, YouTube. Nice and loud. Hi, YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. Yeah, you brought balloons to play with. Didn't you? Look! Almost got him. Almost stuck in the tree. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can I zoom in? Look at that. He's stuck there. We're having lots of not fun trying to get him out. Keep going, sweetheart. Throw it up again. Almost. But it's been almost for like 15 minutes now. <sighs> My goodness. Hi guys, it's, let's see, Wednesday morning. I hope you can hear me. I swear I have like the loudest air conditioner in the world. Um, but let's see, it's almost noon actually. I've had a shower, so that's why my hair's all kind of wonky takes, you know, pretty much all day to dry the whole thing. So, um, my daughter went to the soupy at the park this morning, so she should be back shortly because the soupy goes for lunch at about noon. Um, we've tidied up a little bit and my son and I just made pumpkin loaf and the behavioral therapist should be here in about 15 minutes or so. So, 
feels like it's been kind of busy this morning, but really it hasn't been. It's just kind of, it's so hot. Yes, I'm complaining, it's hot, but today we have a humidity of like 10 billion. Um, so I actually have to keep the air conditioner on, the window air conditioner on in the upstairs as well today because yesterday I left it off until um, the cheaper uh, electricity which is at seven o'clock and it was a very, very uncomfortable sleep because by then the humidity was still all upstairs. So um, I have to keep both of them on today because it's just way too humid. Like it's one of those humidities that you walk outside and it just feels like you're walking into like that something sitting on your chest. It's so humid out. So, um, anyway, I'm just gonna quickly eat something before the behavioral therapist works with my son. And uh, I'm not really sure what we're doing this afternoon, but I would imagine that she will be pushing him quite a bit. So, I don't think we're gonna do much this afternoon, but he'll be happy because pumpkin loaf is in the oven and um, he loves eating it right out of the oven as soon as it's cooled down. So, we'll see you guys soon. Someone's a little tired after the behavioral therapist came, so we're gonna have a little quiet time watching some TV and apparently cuddling under blankets when it's really hot outside and we have air conditioning on. Did you have fun? Yes or no? Ah! Did you have fun? Ah! You wanna look at everybody's eye? Okay. Okay, so behavioral therapist has been here. We've had lunch. It's like mid-afternoon now. Um, but if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that the behavioral therapist was trying to work on making sure my son stopped jumping out of my car, but then my car died. Um, and now it's actually getting picked up this Friday to go for scrap because it is not worth it to fix it from a financial standpoint. And one of the things that's kind of starting to go on it, they can't find parts. So <sighs> she's going away. She's dead. It's very sad. She's a good little car. Plus she's green. It's really cute. So that's kind of been our day. It is so hot outside. Like you know, even in the shade it's hot, but as soon as you get in the sun, it's crazy hot. So I think we're just gonna have a lazy rest of the day until his dad comes to pick him up at five o'clock. Um, and then it's just me and my girl tonight. So she had a great time at the park this morning and she's basically flaked out on one of the couches because she was running around outside all morning in the heat. So. Um, but right now we're having a, a snack with uh, pumpkin loaf. See, there's pumpkin loaf right there. Um, and uh, yeah, then after I have that snack, I'm going to then go and pack him up for the night because he goes to his dad's for an overnight tonight. So we'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, so it's um, Thursday morning now and I'm making actually my second cup of tea. My son has come home now from his dad's. Oh, here he is. Can you say hi, honey? Hi. <laughs> um, and let's see, my daughter's gone off to the soupy again. And um, I actually did something last night that I wasn't sure how it was gonna, uh, how it was gonna work. Um, oh, my water just boiled, so I'm gonna talk while I'm pouring. Um, so I redid my son's kind of work station uh, that he has here with his laptop and iPad and all this kind of stuff because the laptop was actually dead and um, so I like took that away and I cleaned all the cords and all the technology and all this kind of stuff and packed stuff away uh, so that now because before he had like the laptop on his desk and the iPad on the floor for some reason I don't know um, but now the iPad is on the desk, there's no laptop, and he seems okay with the change actually. He's tried to change a couple things for it, but he seems okay, which is great. Um, so, um, I was a little nervous with him coming home this morning as to how he was going to react to it, but he was okay. So now I'm uh, just waiting for my tea to steep, and uh, then... I'm not really sure what we're going to do, but we're not going outside today because it is really, really warm outside. 
Um, it's supposed to rain later today though, so hopefully that'll get rid of some of the humidity so that it's more comfortable outside. See you soon. So this is the area that I um, reorganized last night. I should have actually done a before picture, but there was a laptop in behind here and this iPad was actually like down on the ground there and all this kind of stuff. And there was a whole bunch of cords and it was just chaos. So I was able to clear it all up, clean it all, um, including cleaning all the technology, all the cords. Um, I kind of used like a toilet paper roll to corral cords and to organize them. If you watch me on Instagram, then you'll have seen the kind of resulting cords all organized. But all of his technology now is just all here. Um, he did actually grab the extension, the other extension cord that we were using that's down there. And apparently that's where Elmo goes and that's where Snoopy goes, or Scooby-Doo, sorry. So, and he's pulled kind of these out this morning, so I need to like tuck everything back in. But it's so much better now, so much cleaner, and so much less stuff as well. So, and he seems to have... Are you okay with this now, sweetheart? Was this a good plan? He's eating pumpkin loaf. All is right in the world. Okay, guys. So, I just filmed two videos um, to kind of batch film because shh, my children are quiet. But they're actually just busy so not that like bad quiet as in what's going on down there <laughs> so I just filmed those and I think now I'm gonna go and give them their kind of mid-afternoon snack and try to figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner <sighs> why do they need dinner every night anybody else feel this way like can't they just get their own now please it, I think it's about time that they started cooking for me okay I'm gonna go tell them that Oh dear. This is very sad. She's been a really great car. <sighs> They're taking her for scrap though. She's off.
Hi guys, so it's Friday. It's actually almost dinner time. I have to put dinner on, but I really haven't said hello to you guys yet today. But I've shown you that my car went away. Yes, sweetheart, what would you like? Do you want to say hi? Cause... Say hi, YouTube. Ah, ah, ah. No, sweetheart, you don't open my messenger. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. That's it. Um, so it's Friday around dinner time. Well, I have to make dinner still. And I've had a little boy here oh, who's, <laughs> who keeps asking me to make more pumpkin loaf because we've already gone through four I loaves this do. week. Um, but it's too hot to, to bake it. It's, okay. it's 80 degrees in the house with the air conditioner. So it's kind of warm. Um, I told him that we'll make it tomorrow morning though instead. And uh, my daughter made it through her first week with Soupy at the park, which she absolutely loved. Um, and let's see, I, we really don't have much going on today. It's just, it's one of those days. It's just too hot to do anything. But I am kind of sad that my car has gone to the scrapyard in the sky. She was a good car. She was good to us. Um, oh, he's cutting himself a freezy. <laughs> it's dinner time almost. Anyway, um, so we're going to have pretty much a quiet night tonight and uh, hopefully it'll cool down in the house. <laughs> so anyways, okay. talk to you guys later. Now I remember what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Oh, am I in your way, honey? Um, so I got a really cool call today from a girlfriend of mine and she is starting her own business, which is very cool. Um, a concierge business. So, um, I'm really, really proud of her. She's, uh, her husband actually got laid off a number of months ago now and like I'd say almost a year ago. God, it must be coming up on a year. Um, after being with the same company for like 20 years somewhere around there 15 or 20 years and um, he just started a new job this past this week actually um, this week yeah this week sorry looking over there at the calendar um, and so she's been kind of doing odd jobs and stuff like that while he's been off work just to kind of keep some income coming into the house because she was a stay-at-home mom and now just things are getting so busy with her actually she's been doing a lot of cleaning and organizing and stuff that she uh, is starting a business. So, so proud of her. Um, and, you know, it just goes to show that, you know, women can do anything. <laughs> She's got two young children. I mean, they are both in school now, but they're still young. One is special, has special needs as well um, with ADHD. And she is just going gangbusters with this. Just And she's so excited, but she's also scared and everything. And it just... It warms my heart to see women just, you know, belting forward with stuff that they enjoy, that they want to do, and that they're excited about it. So, I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys because um, I'm just, I'm so proud of her. Anyways, that's it for now. Bye. Hi, guys. So, it's Saturday morning. Let's see. My daughter's already been to karate. Uh, my bio dad is currently staying with the kids to play with them and now my boyfriend and I and a friend of ours have actually gone out to um, run some errands using my bio dad's car so that's whose vehicle this is. He's very kind and lets me borrow it uh, when he comes to play with my kids. <laughs> so it's right now a stop at Staples and then a stop at No Frills and then we'll take my friend back home. Um, he's almost like a, another father figure for my kids, which is pretty cool. Um, and then, I don't know, we'll see how we're doing for time, but there might be a Starbucks stop in there too, because I kind of feel like some Starbucks today. But thankfully some of the humidity went away overnight, so um, it's not as hot today, but it's still pretty warm. So anyway, that's it for now.